Well, let's conclude this Weird Al CD binge and talk about UHF. Now, this is a um, uh, very interesting album. So, for one thing, this is the only film soundtrack Weird Al did because this is the because uh, the movie it comes from is the only Weird Al movie. The movie it comes from was it was this nineteen eighty was the nineteen eighty nine comedy th- UHF. You know, it's odd. I was almost going to say The Wizard. I don't know why. But anyways, this album was merely released just because it had original songs in the film. Plus, on top of that, this also includes extra tracks. In fact, this album very well could literally just just be almost considered a non-soundtrack. Except for the fact that its true title is... UHF, Original Motion Picture Soundtrack, and other stuff. So, realistically, this this can be considered as its own album and doesn't even need to be classified as the soundtrack because the album has a ton of original songs. In fact, there are more original songs here than there are songs from the movie. So, if you want to hear my thoughts about the movie, pretty much, you should just go watch it. I mean, it's a really good movie. The image here is pretty much like a slight, it's pretty much exactly the same image that's on the poster for the film, only slightly different, because on the film it's a poster. Here you go, there's um, some spot around here, and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, The uh, the back here is not that interesting. It's uh, yellow and it has the track listing, or whatever. In here, uh, there's the disc, it's bland like the normal one. Now, this has probably the best-looking disc booklet here, because inside here, see, there's the lyrics. There you go. Why does it say ADD? I don't know. Makes absolutely no sense. Anyways, I already talked about the opening track, Money for Nothing, Beverly Hillbillies, in my review of uh, his greatest hits, Volume 2. But uh, to keep it short, I love it. The next song is Gone, You Too. Now, what it is, it's a comedy sketch now if you've ever seen uhf you may remember that scene where it was like a a commercial for a a movie that doesn't even exist called gandhi 2 or gandhi is evil i guess that's all i can say attack of the radioactive answers from a planet near mars is I have a I have a soft spot for that one. I mean, I I really think that song's awesome. It's a um, a song that's like um, it's pretty much like the song equivalent of an old sci-fi movie, except instead it's about the radioactive hamsters from Planet of New Mars. Isle Thin is a parody of Wild Thin. I'd say it's a it's a rap parody. I think it's a good one actually. It's pretty funny, I must admit. I mean, to be fair, you could make anything that's better than the original Wild Thing. The Hot Rocks Polka is a polka of a bunch of Rolling Stone songs. Let me see which ones were they again. I don't have good memory on this. Okay. The songs uh, done were... Were... It ain't rock and roll. It's only rock and roll, but I like it. Brown Sugar, You Can't Always Get What You Want. This Hungry Tongue Woman, Under My Thumb, Ruby Tuesday, is Sympathy for the Devil, Shattered, Let's Spend the Night Together and I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Those are all the songs included. It's not one of my favorite polkas, to be completely honest. It doesn't have much um, originality, and he already did a Rolling Stone song in on his uh, album in 3D when he did did uh, Jump Jack Flash in the song Polkas on 45. Whatever. Next song is UHF. Again, I already talked about it here, except this time it has an awesome guitar solo, and part of it's even uh, more drawn out, although I must say that fade out, it, it feels like it's going on for forever, 
Like it takes forever for it to end, kind of. Well, either way, the next song is "Let Me Be Your Hog," which is so short. I it's 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 the song is literally a 17 second song. It's literally just this. Let me be your hog. Let me be your hog now. I said, baby, 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 baby. Yeah, that's all it is. I have a little soft spot for that one, but it's really odd. P apparently, he was wanting to do Kung Fu fighting, but he couldn't do it, so he did Let Me Be Your Hog. She Drives Like Crazy is a parody of the fine young cannibal. She Drives Me Crazy. I kind of like it. <laughs> I mean, that's a, f a good twist to put on it. He sounds a lot like Kermit the Frog in this song. I remember I once found a Fine Young Cannibals tape at this, like, antique store where I bought Dare to be Stupid. And had a She Drives Me Crazy on it. Anyways, Generic Blues. What can I say? It's Generic Blues, but I like it a lot. I must say, it's really it's accurate to blues, to my knowledge. And that ending was like, oh, maybe I'll just go bowling! And just, <laughs> I just, I like that one. Then you get the Spatula City part. Again, this was another segment that was featured in the movie. But uh, in the case here, it was a put in audio form, like the Gandhi 2 part. And here is um, uh, Fun Zone. It sounds a lot like a Mario Kart song, being completely honest. It sounds like something you'd hear in one of the new Mario Kart games. Imagine it. Fun Zone Freeway. Maybe it'll be in Mario Kart VR. A new stage in uh, Mario Kart's. I forgot what the new one is. I don't know. I don't care. Anyways, the next song is Spam, a parody of Stan by REM. Uh, it's a good uh, parody. I like it. I think it's a, he did a good job during that song, but um, I don't know. I, it's better than I think, but I think it's better than that one person from that My Monty Python sketch said. I don't like Spam. Anyways, the last song is the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. I'd say it was his first really long song. Sure, there were longer songs that on his albums, like say Nature Trail to Hell for on in 3D, but um, in the case here, or I'm uh, stuck inside the closet with Vanna White. But this is his first true long song. Uh, it's the last song on the album, and a very good closer, I will add. And in this song, uh, he pretty much describes him going to a tourist trap called The Biggest Ball of Twine in Minnesota. And it literally describes most of it. Now, it's not as um, uh, descriptive as the song Trapped in the drive through where he literally describes next to every single thing that happens in one moment, in one song. Well, in this case, it just describes it, and it has a lot of funny moments, like the old pick a wiener scene, or them picking up some random guy named Ernie and putting him into the car. Anyways, then it just stops. Uh, the instrumentation is amazing. It really is cozy and has a great vibe to it. And uh, overall, it's one of his best closing tracks. One of my favorite closing songs on the, one of his albums. To conclude it, Yui Chef is a great movie. And this is one of his... And this is a very underrated album by Weird Al. I'd say it's worth a listen. And overall, I'd recommend you, listen, you buy it. So that concludes the Weird Al Yankovic CD extravaganza. Reviewed an album, compilations, and reviewed an, an album. So, thank you for thank you for watching this, and there and there you go. So goodbye.